background of like <laughs> the fires of hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish. Nice. <laughs> Matches the talent here. Carla's losing hey, it. Folks, it is Carla, and I am here with Michael and Asif and Stefan. He will be staying because he's from Zoom. We had a problem, some technical issues. They have been cleared. All kinds of technical issues today. Um, in the technical issues, I want to tell you, you will have the Zoom link on Ray Hunt's page because we have some website issues that need to be cleared up. And um, I've been working on them for the past few hours. So, um, guys, come and talk to me in English. I am going to begin sharing out. And I'm wondering how Ali G got in, but it's perfectly fine with me. Um, Michael, introduce yourself because you said you had something to say to me. And then we have Ashish and which anyone who's going to stay, stay for as long as he possibly can today. <laughs> because I could use it. <laughs> um, but before I forget, Michael. I want yeah. everyone to know, I'm not wearing the t-shirts, but we are still sponsored by the Institute of Peace, which is an organization promoting peace through conversation around the world, one conversation at a time. And this show is more than one conversation. Right now, we have the United States, we have India, we have Pakistan, and we have Holland. I mean, to me, this is amazing that in a very short time, we can have people talking from around the world. Michael, take it away. Wonderful. Well, when we were trying to, uh, uh, Ashish and I were here, waiting, welcome Ali, and uh, trying to get on. Uh, we were talking about what do you do to control your temper when things are going wrong? How do you keep it together? And I always say a lot of times when things are going wrong, we keep almost reinforcing it because we keep talking about it. So like everyone goes, oh, this thing is not working. And you're just like, avalanching the negative emotion on top of it. it. Of course it's not working and of course it's frustrating, but to keep, guys, the word I like to use was ranting about it. It just keeps adding to this negative energy and it doesn't help anyone around either. And then the other idea is then when other things go wrong, we start adding them on as well. So it's like, oh, and now this pen isn't working and you go, it's just a pen, but because you're already frustrated, then it adds to that. So I don't know if that necessarily fixes the problem, but we were talking about you know speaking English, and I think part of that has to do with, with emotion as well. I think it's important. Um, you'll speak to people around the world and they'll go, hello, and I'll go, are you unhappy or is that just the way you say it? It doesn't seem that the emotion matches. And when people are are frustrated and angry it's yeah it makes people uncomfortable you just don't know what to do so it doesn't necessarily solve the problem but it will help yeah dissipate that so we'll keep repeating it we'll do our best we we waited patiently we got Stefan from zoom we cleared everything up and here we are and that's what the whole point was and you know what Michael I needed to hear that today it has been just one thing after another. Yeah. And the important thing is to remember that, as you said, um, there's nothing, there was nothing I could do about any of the things that are happening. I mean, I did all I could do, but the website is down right now. And we need to start the show and do it as we would. 
Um, I won't bring people in who have been here three times already this week because I want new people or people who have been here not as regularly because we want more people joining in. So I'm not saying you shouldn't come, but depending on how the room fills up, and I need to be off by a certain time today, um, I may not bring you in. I will not bring you in immediately, but I may bring you in later on in the show. Thank you for understanding. Today we're going. You're going to see the, the Zoom ID because we're having a little bit of a problem with the website. And actually, I'm going to ask Maria very quickly, or Allie very quickly, and then Ashish can talk. Say yes or no. Did you get in by the Giggle Giggle Fest University? link or did you come another way just nod your head was it giggle fest the university so you came by going finding the link on ray hunt's page okay everyone you will need to do that today this will be cleared up hopefully by sunday the issue we're not sure why it's not working now it should be working now Okay, Michael, go on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wanted to make no, that, no, um, no problem. I was saying uh, as well, like this week, you, you know, the the Dutch. If you ever come to the Netherlands, uh, I will. You can say, yeah, anyone. If you if there's people talk about the Dutch all the time, and the Dutch are known for lots of things, but one of the things is that when they speak. They can be very, very direct. They don't worry about like being politically uh, correct and they say what's on their mind. And uh, a lot of times other people around the world, when they speak to Dutch people, they'll go, oh my God, they're so rude. And it's not that they mean to be. We did a comedy show once where we talked about translating what Dutch people say into what they mean to say. So a Dutch person, when they mean to say, they go, oh, my God, you lost so much weight. A Dutch person will go, oh, didn't you used to be fatter? And you go, yes, but there's a better way to say that, yeah? And the other thing about the Dutch, interestingly enough, is they are notorious complainers, yeah? They love to complain, yeah? And, you know, uh, we're talking in, in English now, but if you look at the um, – the, uh, the Eskimo language, the Eskimos, uh, they live, you know, up in the, the polar regions. Well, they've got like 180 words for, the, for snow. They can describe snow and we just go, okay, we've got one word, snow. You go, why would you need so many words? Well, it's because it snows almost every day of the year. So it's such a part of your culture that you find different ways of describing it. So in my travels around the world, when I've met people from other cultures and I find out that they have lots of synonyms, words that have similar meanings for one thing, then usually it means it's a really important part of the culture. So the Dutch, they have 30 different ways of saying the verb to complain. So klache, zure, zanaka, there's a whole list. So as soon as I found out there's 30 ways of saying complain, I know, oh, these people must love complaining. Now, what I was talking earlier about today, when things are going wrong and you're complaining about it, almost everywhere in the world, when you're complaining, oh, it's such a terrible day and everything's going wrong, it doesn't help. It actually, in general, they've proven it makes you feel worse. But psychological studies have shown that the only people in the world who actually improve by complaining are the Dutch. They actually, it's for them. Yeah, yeah, they did it. There was a great study just recently. I, I, I'd have to look it up, but it was, the, yeah, they're really the only people in Europe that when they complain, they actually kind of process it and get it out. But most of us, we just kind of, 
keep building to the pile when we complain. So yeah, unless you're Dutch, my advice is you can't do anything about it right now. How can you fix the problem? And of course, yeah, Carlo, she called Zoom. At one point it's like, okay, we might have to cancel. Yeah, we might have to cancel. But we didn't. We got the we got our friend Stefan online. He fixed everything for us and now we're here. And I'm very grateful that we were able to get Stefan today to help us out. Because yeah. I'm not sure what I would have done without him today. <laughs> I did everything right, but one thing, and I'm, you know, I'm learning too. And actually yeah. that calmed me down considering everything else that had been going on. I yeah. thought, well, at least one thing has gone right. And that's the funny thing as well, is that when you when you latch on to the thing that's going right, then you put your focus on the positive thing. Even if 30 things are going wrong, focus on the one thing that's going right. It, it's like Christmas stories, you know, a little, uh, uh, there's, what's the, uh, a Christmas carol, great story, you know, Ebenezer Scrooge, Bah Humbug, I don't know if, if any of the guests here have heard of this Christmas story, but there's one family and the boy, he's got, you know, a, a disease and they're very, very poor and the dad has to work, but the boy's just going, yeah, but on Christmas morning, we're all going to be together. And the boy's just focusing on, we don't have much food. There's not a lot of gifts, but it's this great holiday and we're going to be together. And yeah, the kid is the one you go, boy, you're smarter than anyone else in the story because you get what it's about. So he's not worried about. And I yeah. love that story because of that. Yeah, and Christmas Carol, that's so funny. There is, I think there's something like, if the last time I looked, there's like 40 different uh, movie versions of that same story. It's been filmed so many times in different languages and different styles. I'm, I mean, I'm going to be 50 this year, but still, my favorite version is A Muppet Christmas Carol. There is no better way to watch A Christmas Carol than with the Muppets. Oh, I have never seen that. <gasps> it's fantastic. It's got, because it's not only all the Muppets, but Ebenezer Scrooge is played by Michael Caine, one of the most fantastic British actors ever. So he's the he's the one real guy, and the rest are all the Muppets and there's great music and it's funny and oh yeah it's I mean I know it's a little early right now but put it on your list watch a Christmas carol it because for me it's funny it's not about Christmas and not about uh, you know like the Christian religion but there's a there's a great moral in there which is you know living your life in the present make the best you can with what you got and focus on the the positive because you've only got you know this is the only chance you're going to go around now some people i know there's people go reincarnation in different cultures yeah but you're not going to remember that last lifetime you got to deal with what you're dealing with right now absolutely and that's a very important um point that you're bringing in right now austin i will not bring you in because you've been in all week and i want new people to get a chance if you wait around and we don't get a big crowd i'll bring you in but i want to get people who haven't been here all week a chance to get in first and i explained that to a vase a little while ago it's nothing personal it's just to give more people an opportunity to get in and today I do need to be off by a certain time. Let um, Ashish say hi. Hey, before uh, Ashish says hi, I, I'm, uh, I'm actually already late. I, I know that we had troubles getting on. Um, I'm, I'm directing a, a musical and I have uh, rehearsals uh, tonight and I have to go to rehearsal. I'm gonna be late. I understand. Thank you. Uh, I will be back again, I don't want, worry. I wanna thank you for being here today. Because My you pleasure. Really, 
you helped me out more than I could have ever asked you to. Wonderful. Now you now we're back on track. We're online, and everything's going. And yeah, yeah, no worries anymore. We're we're doing what we need to do. We're speaking English. Right. So get, get to Ashish. Ashish will take over. He's he'll host the rest of the show. He can handle it. Yeah, he can. I don't think he expected to stay this long, but I'm hoping he will stay a little longer. Well, I hope to speak to um, Ali and uh, Barira another time. Thank you guys for joining us. I have to go, but um, hopefully I'll see you guys next time, okay? Okay. Fe Michael, again, thank you so My pleasure. very, very much. My and pleasure. I am extremely... I can't tell you how appreciative I am of the help you gave me today. My pleasure, dear. Have a good session. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone. Okay. Bye. See you soon. Ah, Ashish. I know this wasn't your plan today, but you love me. Stay a while. <laughs> And I may bring in Asan and Avace in a little while. They just need to wait. I want those who haven't been here for a while. And Berea, I'm going to get on you. You are not smiling. And believe me, today I am realizing the value of a smile here. Bigger than, big time. So, Asan, she say hi. Hi, folks. This is Ashish K uh, from New Delhi, India. So I was not here for the last 10 days because I'm Yeah, really where here. have you been? I yeah, know you. Not, yeah, for this, I guess September and October, I'll be occupied with so many works that is related to my professional field. In fact, today, I, as I shared with you, that I won't be here for more than 20 minutes. And it's, it's really, I mean, challenging for me to be here. But you're here. Yeah, definitely. And uh, was in my plan for next 15 to 20 minutes that uh, I need to leave. So. Not uh, yet. Okay. Uh, Not yet. Talk <laughs> you didn't introduce yourself. Come on. Okay, I did that, but I'll be doing it again. I'm Ashish K. Mishra from New Delhi, India working as a tax consultant and educator too. And with this show, I have a long association. It's been a year and a month. So. Okay. It's a year and a month? Yeah, I joined this show on 27th of July, 2018. That was my first day here. Is that when I'm, and you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. I was the last one in the channel to speak here. I got this chance towards the end of this show for two minutes only, even less than two minutes. And who was co-hosting with me that day? Yeah, it was Nurullah Akunjada. Yeah, he was oh. your co-host. Who so. we're not going to get. <laughs> yeah, right. And in fact, why this show is very important for me and memorable, because this was the first show I mean, uh, uh, like an, a webinar where I appeared very, for the very first time. It was a maiden experience uh, on the internet. I never been to any show before that. So it was like, uh, I mean, something miraculous in my life that I was um, talking to the people around the world over on the internet through this digital media. So it was all the overwhelming experience that day. That's why. Uh, that was memorable to you. I couldn't uh, erase from my memory for my lifetime. That's well, uh, the topic is really important and which is related to all of us, who are, whether we are in 10 years or we are in um, right. the late 40s. The topic is when things are not going in our way we are upset how to counter, how to cope with the um, temper or ang anger. Uh, well, uh, I can't advise for others what they need to do, what they should do in those moments. But what did I do was what is my experience that I can share with you people. 
I mean, it took a long to uh, make me understood that there's nothing wrong and right. The only thing is that a particular, uh, at, a, at a certain time, things are not working in your way. That really makes you angry with someone or at something. So whenever I feel that I'm really angry, I've got tempted with something. So what did I do? I do two things. If things are not working in my mind, it doesn't mean that that is wrong. I need to understand it. I need to understand the perspective of others. And if I'm angry with someone, so I just think that that is the person, I mean, the person is equally meritorious. I need to give value to him or her, and I need to understand him or her for a second to keep aside my anger, my, uh, what I'll say, my ego for time being, what actually make me ang angry. So in fact, this evening, when I was about to leave my uh, office, I mean, something happened which made me totally out of my mind. What happened? Uh, when I was about to finish a particular project, I suddenly, what I see that there was some figure which was not in re reconciliation with books of accounts. So I'm just understanding. And that took me, like, it will take one more hour to get finished with this work. And I had no time. That made me really angry. And the guy who was really senior to me was uh, sitting beside me. He was saying that no, just check through or go through the trail and check it out right now. I was really angry <laughs> with him. So I emphasized that no, I'm right. You need to check it out and I need to finish it. I'm just clicking the button. I'll finish this work. But he was adamant. He was right in his approach. He was, then he, I found the midway. He was not. Um, contacting m with my eyes, he was just uh, watching on, um, looking at the books and instructing me, do this, do this, but not looking at me. Finally, I realized that why shouldn't I check it again quickly? And when I checked it, he was the right person there. I was wrong in my approach. And that moment, I started laughing with lots of loud. <laughs> so, these are the things which we need to do. Actually, it is not in terms of, I'm like instruction or in, I'm not insist, insisting someone else. This is my own experience. That's just think that the person which is uh, standing before you or sitting um, with you, we need to just value, need to give value to him or her. He might be right, you need to understand it. And if things are not going in our way, it doesn't mean that that won't work uh, in future as well. So that is my own experience, which I can share with you. I don't have any advices for you people. You can just come out and share with your experiences. I'm done for today. And uh, even though I really love this show, I um, confess this so many times, but I need to leave this show. Uh, <laughs> I the only one I could use you the most, you're leaving the show. I mean, okay. Yeah. Um, talking about anger, I had to deal with it today about something. The website is down. We're working on getting it back working. But for me to find that out when I woke up this morning, and dealing with some of the things I needed to deal with, I was very angry. And I knew I was determined to do the show. I was determined to be here. And I had to deal with someone in a manner that I usually would not deal with. And I wasn't... I... People who know me or I only see this side of me, would have been shocked. But I kept my temper as far as words and as far as, you know, it's done. It was totally out of my control. 
But thank you for talking about that. And I'm going to go around and ask everyone, and I am going to remove people who are not smiling. I'm sorry, I don't have the patience today. Um, okay. if you, especially if you've been here in the past few days, every day this week, I will remove you. You can come back on for another, another show. So do I have to, what do I need to do with you, Ashish? Should I remove you? Okay, I, I'll do it on my own. But before I leave, Alizi, Beria, and other people here, I couldn't catch up with you people uh, for, uh, I mean, today. Definitely I'll be back most probably in November for not next two months. So why? Come I'm really occupied with works. I couldn't promise that I'll be here from uh, September and October. Definitely from November, I'll be here regularly. But okay. two months? Yeah. You can come on Sunday and help out. No, 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 yeah. two months. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, if I'll get definitely. Uh, yeah, you know that I couldn't respond your message earlier too. But yeah, definitely, if I'll have time, definitely I can come on Sunday for kids' show. So I'll make it to the show, no issue at all. Okay. And uh, Very with that, good. Really... don't get okay. today. I will easily remove people. Just so you know, I've already removed a few people. Okay, I'm removing you now. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Take care of you. See you soon. Okay. Um, Bhatti Khan, just tell me when you're finished eating and I'll bring you back. Okay. Ali G, I'm looking at the wrong picture. Uh, you are now unmuted. You need to start with an introduction, please. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Hi, Kerala and uh, and the family of the Zoom and the Peace uh, University. So today I am uh, very happy that you chosen a very wonderful topic. And my intro is: I live in Karachi, Pakistan, and I really wanted to talk to Ashish, but but he left. He's my neighbor. Uh, yeah. He's my neighbor, like a uh, neighboring country. Yeah. I live in Karachi, he lived in Delhi. I'm Pakistani. I'm Pakistani, he's Indian. I wanted to say he's a very nice guy because the way he's speaking, the way he experienced, share the, his experience, what happened to him. He's a very busy guy, I guess. Uh, tax and all this stuff. I know that people who work in the tax and accounts department, they are very tough job. It's very hard to convince people. It's very hard to work with these bosses. So I really wanted to say if Ashish listened to me, Ashish, whatever circumstances going between our country, I want, I personally, all the Pakistani want that our borders will be opened. Okay, can people. I change the subject? I'm still not sure who you are. I am you have uh, not I mean, introduced yourself well yet. Okay, okay. Let me let me say it again. I said it before. I am Ali Raza, but my nickname is Ali G. I live in Karachi, Pakistan. I work in a farm, agriculture farm, and uh, uh, and what else? Come on. And. Uh, I was talking about the Ashish. Uh, he he said the truth thing that uh, sometimes we we get angry, we get sad. So I don't know the uh, topic, Carla. What's the? That's what we're talking about. How do you? Were you listening? Yes, I'm listening. And what I spoke about is what do you do? How do you handle yourself when you're angry? And you don't want to say yeah. that to someone. You just want to yeah. take care of it 
and move on. You don't want to go into, oh, I'm angry because of blah, blah, blah. You just, let's take care of the issue and move on, which was my, was what I was working on today. And if you find value of this show, please share it out to your family and friends. The Institute of Peace um, appreciates it as much as I do. Yeah, of course, I will share it after that. Uh, and actually, well, actually, you should share it now while it's going so people can come and be a part of the program. The more it's shared, uh, the more people know that it's here. Yes, I, I, I just clicked the share contact. Which one I sh should suggest? Just share it to your page. That's all you need to do. I get so many options. Screen, photo, click, uh, box. Just share Dropbox. it. Share it to your timeline. That's all I ask that people do. Maria, you better put that smile on. And yeah. Asin, I'm about to get to you about your smile. Uh, I already removed your cousin. I have no trouble removing you today. You may not talk yet. So how do you handle it when you get angry? What do you do, Ali G? Well, it's very hard. It's very hard when you get angry. So uh, sometimes sometime it happens that I got frustrated and I replied to people with my anger too. But sometimes I just calm down myself. I would say, I would like to move on. It's like a red signal and green signal. It depends on you. You would like to go on the signal which is open for all the way or you would like to stop and you would like to say nothing. So angry, uh, I guess it's normal. Everyone gets anger. But carrying on, carrying on anger long time, it's a bad. It, it also... It also make you uh, envy, and you also feel very disaster for inside. Whatever people do, there are so many people. You better don't like it, but you you have to deal with it. You have to have a, a other option how to deal with people. So, I would say that angry is normal, but carrying on it's very hard. So. Uh, it happened today with me. It's uh, I'll have to share my experience today. Yeah. Uh, one of the, one of the guy who tried to he tried to uh, get me the position where where I am. He tried to get that position where I am that working place. So uh, he manipulated my boss. He manipulated so many people. Tried to manipulate. Tried to get rid of me for that company. But, uh, you know, God has second plan always. So I get very angry. I said, if he, he will come to my side, I will punch it hard. But I stopped. I did not, rec I did not uh, contact him. It's okay to go away, but it's not uh, like uh, we should not uh, show our anger. We should have to be moved somewhere else. Uh, there is lot of world there is a lot of space this world you can go anywhere but uh, it's okay to hate someone but you don't have to re react it okay but sometimes it's normal to get angry and if you do react it's okay there's nothing wrong with that yeah my no. just like just like Michael described it, one of the book uh, I would like to say that it's uh, the power of subconscious mind. Whatever you say, like you say, I'm angry, I'm angry, you will get angry. If you say, I am calm, I am peaceful. You know what? Let me tell you very, 
good experience with me i guess uh, it's a blessing for my god allah it's happened to me a uh, few few months ago i was very disaster i was very sad because of the one of the job i was doing they i was reached in a position where i will uh, be a, a general manager but they kicked me uh, in a down position you know that there is a position a worker yeah. supervisor yeah i know my yeah so i was about to two step to reach a ceo so forget that this sound is a, <laughs> is a ice cream seller is a street street ice cream seller so uh, what i have did what i have did i always get angry for that because i lost my position so i went to malaysia for vacation then i see something very special i see wherever i go the hotel the buses if someone went to malaysia kuala lumpur they had the same experience i see the smiley face all over there there is a billboard smiley face there is a uh, uh, if you go to elevator the smiley face you go to reception there is a smiley face i was very upset why they put a smiley face all the way then i realized if you see something happy you feel happy if you if you uh adopt uh, adopt smiley so what i did i like to share i i like to show you i put smiley face so many places in my room i put on uh, on my laptop uh, and i put on my washroom i put on uh, this this here mayor every time every time i wake up i go to in front of mirror and i see i have to smile whatever the disaster happening to me i feel very happy because when you get so much angry when you get so much uh, depressed when you get so much worry your uh, brain start losing like a light is become fused so i feel a pain for one side what i did it's a therapy it's a, it's like a medicine if you start just smiling and one thing i did i start saying to my allah my god i praying to allah bring people to me who are smiling who sharing smiling then what happened after few weeks later i i got a invitation for rehan allah wala that uh, peace uh, uh, your show peace uh, zoom uh, uh, your show <laughs> i saw the link notification on rehan allah wala i joined your first time then i you you said smile please ali this is if you don't smile i will get rid of it i was i was shocked yesterday i was really shocked that uh, maybe my uh, dua my my prayer fulfilled i i between i am the among the people who are always smiling who share his smile to people to bring people to smile and peace that's what i i pray for a few months ago so that's a really blessing and uh, god and allah bless you too kala you are doing fantastic job and uh, one of the weakest point for me always to speak in english so uh, i guess nazis is come she will talk today inshallah oh <laughs> so, yeah she has the <laughs> talk today there's no question uh, about it for him if you don't keep the camera on your face i will need to remove you that's the reason we do this on zoom so people can see faces you have a handsome face there it's no reason why you can't show it i give you to the count of 3 to put it on 1 2 yeah Three. I saw. <laughs> I'll be watching for you to put it on, and I want to see your face. That's what the world wants to see. You don't need to be camera shy. You'll be okay. Okay. Um, should, I, should I continue? You have one more minute, and then I need to move. Okay. Okay. i would say to nazish uh, she's like my elder sister 
she's she's living law i guess so i would say that english is just a language it's not a hard thing you can you can see so many thing around you it's all in english you say cupboard is english you you can see sofa it's english you can see curtain is english you have a pen in your hand it's english just make a sentence or i using pen i i sit on the sofa i use my cupboard so that's all is simple i'm not saying i'm very good in english but uh, when i realized that english is just a language but it's a vast language and it's a international language that's why we scared we scared to international people uh, we think that they are very uh, unique they come for the uh, another world but they are same like us so just uh, talk to just talk to in english it's a very easy i do lot of mistake uh, but but you need to uh, see around yourself and make a sentence on it that's very easy but that's what i mean ali that is great advice for him for her <laughs> um but it's not even necessary because she can do it she just acts like she can and yes, i'm not going to can, let her. she can of course I'll... and she no longer can get away with that she thinks i'm going to let her get away with it and i'm not so if she decides she is not going to <laughs> i will just remove her her husband will get very annoyed with me but her husband will know why i did it and i oh. will speak to your husband about it clearly <laughs> and by the way you just smile i see you trying okay can i go on to maria now yes of course of course thank you thank, thank you carla thank so you so very much um i'm not muting you i'm not doing anything else Okay, Maria. I'm about to unmute you. What is go first introduce yourself. Come on, you're unmuted. Hi. Hi, my name is Baira Ali and I'm from Karachi, Pakistan. I study in class 5 and I like to read stories for kids those can read learn and listen my stories and today I am in Kerala show and having fun everything in here and talking others is fun and today's topic is is enjoying topic Why is it enjoying? Because people are smiling. Okay, do you understand what the topic is about? Do you understand what the topic is about? Maria Uh, I didn't understand because it was difficult for me. Those words are very difficult for me. That's okay. Why. Let me explain it. You have a brother, correct? Sorry. You have a fourteen-year-old brother. He may be seventeen now. but you have a brother right and i'm sure right. that two of you fight at times correct correct it's okay you can say this everyone knows this he's your brother do you get angry at him i don't get angry but he get angry How do you, uh, how do you not get angry with him at times? 
because I am a little and he is an elder. That's why. Oh, so you have been told that you don't get angry with someone older than you. Is that true? Yeah. Did your mom teach you that? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't totally agree with your mom on this one. And can I explain to you why? Yeah. I have an older brother and an older sister. They're nine and 10 years older than me. They're real old. And I do get angry with them. And I do tell them, well, not as much now, but there's reasons why. But if you hold that anger when you're angry, it, you're going to be more angry than you are happy. So when you're yeah. angry, how do you handle it? Um. I just cool down for a bit and when, when, when there's a person get angry, I went away from him. You run away so from him? <laughs> Where do you yeah. run to? To another room to cool down. Oh, and what do you do to cool down? Um, I do an exercise. What kind of exercise? This is great. Yoga. I'm very proud of you. What kind of yoga. exercise do you do? Yoga. Oh, what kind of yoga do you do? Tell me some of your postures. You know, the cooling down exercise. No, can you tell me about it? A cooling, uh, a cooling down exercise. Okay, can you, what do you do when you cool down? Uh, we just close our eyes and sit still and, and, uh, and do the finger like this and close our eyes and oh, so you do a breathing uh, exercise yes breathing exercise is it like this yeah yeah that's a very good exercise to do when you're angry i agree is there anything else you do yeah what else do you do? No, just this exercise. Okay, and have um, you been nothing else when I Okay, and how do you? How long does it take for you to cool down? Um. One minute, Carla, uh, there's noise. I uh, can't two. hear it. You're fine. I have a problem in this room, so I will tell everyone to be quiet, my family. You're from, oh, okay. I can't hear them. Bassett Khan, if you don't put a smile on, you know what's going to happen. And Muhammad um, Adnan Sharif, just answer my question. If you're having a camera issue, I'll let you stay for a little while anyway, because I know you're having crop issues. But read my message, please.
Okay, are you going to say anything else, Maria, or can I move on? You can move on, Carla. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for coming and talking to me. You're welcome. I'm going to mute you. Okay, Nazish. Please introduce yourself. Hi, Carla. I am Nazish. I'm from Pakistan. I am married. Uh, uh, I am a beautician. That's it. No, I want to hear more. You can say more than that. I am Nazish from Pakistan, Rawalpindi. Uh, I am married. Carla, can so you what? hear me? You're married. I want to know more. What else do you do? You stop using these excuses. I can't do it. And you start doing it, lady. You can say more than that. And you know it. I am Nazish from Pakistan, Rawal. Stop saying that, what you've already said. Tell me more about you. Today isn't the day to play these games with me at all, Nazish. And I think you know what's going on in the background. Carla, really, I don't know, really. Oh, you haven't spoken to Nazir. Doesn't matter. You can say more than, and I'm married. Um, you can say more than that in introducing yourself, and you know it. And I'm not going to let you get away with it anymore. Come on, you can do it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to mute you and I'm not going to allow you to speak again today at all. No, Carla, please tell yeah, me. I can't no, understand. if you're going to play these games, I'm going to have to mute you. Really, Carla, I don't understand what's happening. I don't understand. Really, I, I am asking you to tell me about yourself and you can say more than I am Nazis and I am married. You have said that about five times. Tell me more. I'm sorry, Asin. You'll need to come back on Sunday. I really mean it. We are, I'm running out of time and you've been here every day this week. Okay. So Carla, I am here uh, to uh, speak in a speaking English, so um, I am here to improve my English, so I am doing, uh, that's why I am here. And what do you, tell and, me about you. I know why you're here, tell me it's something about you. And stop saying I can't do it in your mind. You're hurting yourself. Carla, about I introduce myself so Carla. No, but I, I want to know more about you. You can do it. Yeah, I'll. You can tell me if you live with your family. You can tell me how many kids you have. Yeah, you can Carla, tell yeah. me a whole lot of stuff. But you're yeah. not doing it. And I'm not going to let you get away with it anymore. Yeah, Carla, I just told you um, when I am angry, what I do. That isn't introducing yourself. Okay. Yeah, I am. Um, I live with my family, so now my husband is not here. So, Carla, can I tell this? 
that's up to you. I'm not telling you what you can tell. I don't, I'm not sure I would talk about that, but that's up to you. You make that decision. Yeah, Carla, please, you can question, question. No! I told you, you can do it. Okay, Carla, you can do it. Please don't make me baby you. You don't need it anymore. Yes, Carla, but now I am confused. You are making all kinds of excuses. And I'm not going to accept it from you anymore. You can sure. say more than I am not Jesus and I am married. You've said mm -hmm. more of that, more at other times than you said today. So, Carla. Don't I you am... dare ask me one more sentence about you. You can do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Someone, people in the audience are telling me to push you. And I'm pushing you and you're still, you don't know what to say. You have said so much more in the past. You can do it. Come on, stop acting like you can't do it. Carla, what are you telling me? You okay, have Carla. come and you have spoken more than you are right now. I'm actually ashamed of you today. Carla, I'm speaking. I know you can do more. Carla, now I am speaking with you, so that's why I am here. I am here to why? my. Whoa, stop. I ask you to introduce yourself. I have told you five times that you can say more than I am not reached. And I am in Pakistan. You've told me what your profession is in the past. You told me about your children without me asking you. You can do that now. I am giving you all kinds of clues. You can do it, Najis. Yeah, Carla. I I have four kids. Um, I live with them, so I love my children. I am very caring about them, so uh, I am bending the collar. Uh, but my first priority is my children, um, so I'm very caring about them. Someone is saying she hopes she d you don't start crying. You're not going no. to. No. Now, what do you do when you are angry? How do you handle it? Because I think you're angry with me now, and that's okay. That's perfectly no. fine. Carla, then I was angry so first um Carla I am not I am a person I I don't uh, when I was angry so I don't uh, stop speaking I I think uh, it's the best way to talk each and other why you are angry with me What's the reason why are you angry? So, for me, uh, it is not good uh, that I uh, just I keep quiet and calm down myself. No, uh, it is good way to 
talk to each and other what's the reason why someone is angry with me very good it is a good solution to when we understand to each and other what's the problem in me very good do you yes. shout when you get angry uh, sorry karla do you yell at people when you get angry karla please uh, repeat it again do you get speak loudly to people when you get angry not so much but karla i realize them please talk with me what's the happened to you why you are uh, dealing with this way what what's what's the happen not so loud little bit loud okay the point another reason that i am talking about this a lot is, is it is anger that starts war and if we can learn to handle our anger we can also learn to create peace and that's what the institute of peace is all about creating peace even at times of anger we don't need to kill people we don't need to yell at people i know i do at times but it's not needed we just need to speak to people karla when i was angry so i drink lot of water that's why i am taking this here <laughs> you drink lots of water when you're angry why yes i don't know when <laughs> i sit so i would stand i i don't know what's the happening with me that's time okay i actually do need to move on but i okay. expect a better introduction from you in the future inshallah yes carla not inshallah you will do it chakarna inshallah mini okay do it you need to stop all these excuses okay i'm not going to let you get away with it but there's two people i need to speak to and yeah carla you yeah, get to do it okay thank you so much you're welcome thank you thank for coming and talking to me and putting up with my with me today basit khan you have very little time but could you please introduce yourself assalamu alaikum my name is basit khan and i have done my master in social work and i i am living in slowly see part of the problem you guys have and you don't realize it you want to speak in english you get so nervous and you began speaking begin speaking so fast and it's hard for a non for someone who isn't used to the accent to completely understand what you're saying so i need you to slow down go on my name is basit khan and i am living in peshawar i have done my masters in social work right what do you do when you get angry uh, actually i started boxing the sports yes. boxing why did you start boxing because i like it and it's give me uh, give me the opportunity to get rid of my anger easily very giving good. yes and giving punches okay. to the uh, punching bag and uh, sp sparring with people it's helped me a lot in my uh, getting uh, it's helped me a lot in getting relax so that's okay. how i get rid of my anger easily 
just playing boxing and when you play boxing you won't be angry that much because you won't be like to fight with anyone it's just like you you are having so much opportunity to fight for free and just uh, and it's a game and you can fight with people without damaging anything without damaging any law without violating anything without violating any law and you can still fight with someone and uh, and that's it you don't have any anger left then when you uh, play boxing very good I'm glad that works. But what do you do? You're in a conversation that in a conversation and someone makes you angry. You don't agree. What do you do at that point? Um good question actually. Uh I I do to make the peace uh to make the peace possible. in that point of time yesterday one of the person uh, may, uh it's uh, uber uber driver uber uh, bike bike guy it's kareem I here but you hold on for a moment i need to get this very quickly okay okay hello Basit, can you hear me? Okay, Carlo, welcome can back. Yes. Quickly, do you have anything else to say? Because I really need to move on. Baria, I'm going to get on you about your smile, and I'm going to get on Nazis, who's already in a lot of trouble. And okay, just. I do need to move on. I have someone coming to do some work in the house right now, and I want to say hello to Ad Adnan Shar Sharif very quickly, and then I need to get off. Okay. Okay. Just a short message. Uh, it's a thin line between peace, uh, like uh, it's a thin line between anger and uh, getting to peace. and the line is uh, getting rid of your anger so that's how you can be on peace in the world of but you anger is not something to not have anger is fine it's how you handle anger that's important and we can talk about that more next week but right now i need to go on i'm sorry. okay 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 let's see let's Hold on for a moment, Pete.
Bebo, you couldn't hear me. Let me do this again. I need to get off now. I will be back tomorrow for women only. I will be back on Sunday for people under 20. And I will be back for everyone on Monday through Thursday. Let me make sure. Adnan, I didn't realize I was muted. Muted. Are you there? I think he's frozen. Are you there, Adnan? Hello? Hello. Yes. I, as you can see, there's something going on in my house, so I really need to leave, but I wanted to say hello. How are you doing? It's okay, no problem. I'm can you really fine. introduce yourself? Yeah, I can introduce yourself. Yeah, hi everyone. Everyone, hi everyone. No one can see me, only this uh, picture. This is already... We can hear you, but you are frozen. I don't know. There is some problem in uh, my internet or uh, my camera, I think. Yeah. Okay. So can we talk? To, can I talk to you next week? Uh, it's okay. No problem. We can talk to you okay, next week. Okay. Let's wave goodbye. I will be back tomorrow for women only. For okay. people under 20 on Sunday. And remember, the Institute of Peace is here okay. to promote peace throughout the world, one conversation at a time. And with that, I am going to hang up. Have a good day, people. Okay, have a good day.